Is he gone? I sure hope he is. All right. Let's hope. Let's hope he is. He's gone. Amazing. Finally, I can come back to this place. This place is back to myself, even though I have no intention to stay in this place because this place looks horrendous anyway. And oh my god, what is up for you? <sighs> How many times do I have to say? That is not my name, son of Aphrodite. But, but who calls people who as a poo? I'm no poo. I am. I'm freaking like king of the seas or something, you know? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, at least he's not here. I should. Honestly, I should be grateful for that. But oh my god, okay. Um. I suppose this is what I think it is because, you know. Um. I. I sacrifice my time and everything for that picnic. And hopefully, this is what I think it is. Let's see. For you. Whatever. Alright. <clears throat> hey. Jake. Feels like you are always gone from our cabin for obvious reason. So I decided to leave the sea wife an egg. Yes. You ask for here. Well, that's good to know. Let me know when you are free soon. I'm always busy. So we can talk and have more fun. Well, whatever. Um, <clears throat> at least I think I got what I need. Aha! Amazing. See Wyvern Egg. Well, at least we know that Son of Aphrodite can be trusted even though he can be a lot to handle at times, but oh my god, I didn't- I did not expect him to bring me the whip and the saddle. At least there is good things to get out of it, um, getting on his good side, you know? And let's hope we- our relationship can keep it that way, you know? That kind of distance. Now that I have to see Wyvernick, I must hatch it. But I must not hatch it here because, you know, obviously this place is very, very small and I would not have that sacred creature be in this household. So let's do it in my secret base. Let's make sure no one is hmm, following me because no one is supposed to know where my secret base is. Last that person is Brandine. Everyone else should not know where it is. Hmm. I better watch out for this turtle. He might be. Mitch might have sent him here, but I don't think he will. Mitch doesn't. <clears throat> have that capable of like coming up with those kind of scheme anyway. So, oh, I wonder who that is. Who are you, mister? What are you doing here? Are you invited anyway? Did Mitch send you here? Oh boy. Don't make me do this, you know. You have to leave, if you are, you know, <clears throat> this is a private property, sir, so, um, I'll give you a few minutes, if you don't leave, I will, I, I will have to send you away. Gosh, people these days. Well, if you're not gonna leave then, well, you, you better help me watch over this place and you know make sure no one is here you got me sir what's your name Bob okay Bob you will do this all right make sure no one ex especially Mitch anyone that's called Mitch whoever carries a super trident everywhere he goes those kind of people they're not allowed to be in here okay yes I trust you you know okay 
All right then. All right, have fun. Um, being in here while I get to my place. All right. Let me go through here. Hmm. Well, let's go to here, and I think this place would be perfect for the sea wyvern. Let's see this. Right, I'm very, very excited. Let's see. Oh, it is hatching. That is very exciting. So I'm just gonna be here and wait. Let me just go look at different places for now. Make sure no one has tried to come here. I should probably add a layer of protection because it seems like when in daytime, this place could be very visible. Hmm. And that's not too good. I wonder if that egg has been hatched. <gasps> Amazing. Look at you. Look at you. I shall name you. What should I name you? Huh. I shall name you. Yes. Pelagic. I think that's a perfect name for you. Because you represent the ocean, the great sea. We will work together. Do you hear me? I hope you enjoy this place. Obviously, I'm gonna decorate this place, and I will make sure you have a wonderful home. And together, we will work together and get back what we deserve. Do you hear me? Yes. I'm sure you hear me. I wonder if I can put this here already. I okay. Is I guess you're rather young for this, but I will come back to you. You get comfortable, okay? I will go get some food and start setting everything in motion. And in no days, we will we will take down Mitch. We will actually. I don't even need to take down Mitch. I just need to get the Trident back to me. And with you joining my side, it will be very, very interesting, and it will be very, very fun. You hear me, Pelagic? Oh yes, I'm sure you hear me. All right, I can see that you, you are growing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. All right, I must leave for now. Yes. I will be back. I will get more materials now that you're here. I must quickly finish decorating this place and bring you food and comfort. All right, this is very exciting. I'm glad that picnic means something. All right, let's go and see what I can do. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if Bob is doing fine here. Bob, okay, good. Good to know that you're safe. You're staying here, which means that you are. I don't think you're working with Mitch anyway. Anyway, let's go see and see what I can get. Hmm. Oh. Silo. Oh. One of the sons hey. of Apollo. Hello. Yeah, it's Jakey, one of the sons of Poseidon. The the, very, the, the only clear. important son anyway. That's all you need to know. Well, that's a little rude, don't you think? I don't think so. So what are you doing here? Uh, uh, testing out a new bow. Seeing how accurate it is. and It's powerful, but can't say it's super accurate. I guess you like to practice, hit, huh? Hit or miss, I wasn't even aiming at this target. Oh. Huh. Well, might yeah. I join you? Because I'm just like, you know... Oh, 
That is uh, quite a good shot. Yeah, it's a perfect shot right there. Not bad. Even though I, I prefer mean... to use my trident, you know. Yeah, yeah. Heard about that. And my ocean rod, obviously. Man, you got cool stuff. Would you like a bubble ride? A bubble ride? Yeah, like this. What does that even mean? Oh. You just put that kangaroo in a bubble? Well, everyone likes a little bit of water in their life. I kind of want to go on a bubble ride. You sure about that? Yeah, I kind of want to try it. All right. Okay, this feels weird. Out oh, the kangaroo is with me. Okay, no, he's yeah. just trying to get me to Now out. it is with there you. you. Okay. Literally Two levitating. Nothing weird here. Oh, ow. Okay. It's not that bad. I suppose if in the wrong time, it could be very bad, but still. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, it's gonna be really fun when I use it in other trials. Yeah. So. You are sharing a room with Mitch, huh? Yeah. Yeah. How's so, that going? Sometimes. Well, it smells a little fishy sometimes, but... I would assume it's very terrible. It's not ideal, I know that. It's not that bad. Not that bad? Yeah. Yeah, there was an inf incident with a dolphin, but... You know, he's a good roommate. Mm. Nice guy. Stupid dolphin. Well, why don't you tell me? Um, does Mitch, you know, does he always brings his um, trident with him, his stupid trident, does he always, like, just sh walks around with it, yeah. even in his dream? Generally, yeah. Keeps his trident on him, much like I keep my bow on me, or my new bow, at least. Does he never put down the trident? I don't think so. I mean, when he sleeps, sure. What, are you trying to steal his trident? No, I, I, I've I, never done anything like that. I've not, like, I, I sneak into sure? rooms. No, it's not like I, just, I sneak into everyone's room earlier. No, I did not do that. That's I wasn't a, saying th that. That's but... an accusation. No, I wasn't accusing you of that. I was just saying, no, I mean, just talk to me a little bit about you and your feelings about the trident. Uh, the, the, the true feelings, the truth, you know, he he's a thief, steals things from me. Is he a thief? Yes. You were literally just talking about going in people's rooms. I no, within the I, last I said I did not do that. You know, maybe the, okay, the son of Aphrodite. You did say you that. didn't do that. Maybe he done that. I did not. You know. Why would he do that? Well, he's the son of Aphrodite. What do you expect? Um, him to care about love and beauty, not stealing, but. Well, that's you, kind of what I would expect. You would know more if you get to know him a little bit more, but. Anyway, but like, what I'm trying to say, it's like, if you ever see him, like, leave the trident just on the floor, you know? Maybe think about, you know? Yeah, 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 I'll let, I'll let you know, of course. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have to feel inferior to him. I'm not f inferior to him. No, no, I know you're not, obviously. you probably got plenty going for you. It's just, you have a cool trident too, you know? If you say so. It's arguably just as cool as his. You you have no idea what the trident really means. Well, no, not specifically. But apparently it's a big important thing. Only the best deserve the trident, and I deserve it. Well, that's the thing. If you deserve it, maybe one day you'll earn it. Yeah, the, the truth is, I already earned it. That's the truth. Then why would Mitch have it? Because he stole it. That's what I've been saying. He just took it away from me that 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 one day, you know, when it was being passed on, he just suddenly like rises dolphin and then just come here like just right in front of me and just took it. You were in the water? Yes. Okay. There was supposed to be a ceremony and I was supposed to get it and somehow he just stole it and rode up in a dolphin and stole it. Yes. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. It's rough. I've been trying to tell him, but like, somehow Mitch just does not get it. Hey, I mean... He doesn't understand the greatness you can do. Maybe not, but, you know, he's learning, you're learning. 
Everyone here is here to learn. So, maybe he'll find better understanding. Maybe he'll even give the trident to you someday when he feels it's right. You can just, you know, give it to me since you guys are very, I mean, not say that, close. I mean, I don't want to get in the middle of all this. Mm-hmm. Just because, you know, he seems like a decent guy. You seem like a decent guy. I don't think you have to, you know, have any animosity towards each other. I think sometimes it's wise in here is to, you know, know what sides you're picking. Sure. You have to make wise choices, you know. Okay. Tend to try to make wise choices myself. Yeah, and let me tell you, Mitch, siding with Mitch is not a very good idea. I didn't say I was siding with him. Yeah, I'm just, you know, just, I'm just telling you. He is my roommate. What, what, yeah, how unfortunate. Yeah, sure. Very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate that you decide to, you know, just, you know, to um, share a room with him. It's very, very si fishy situation. You know, it's for the most part assigned it. It's very fishy indeed. Mm, yeah. Specifically, not even metaphorically. It's just fishy. Like, he has pet goldfish or something. He has the dolphin in it, which isn't a fish in fairness, but it smells like one. He smells like one. You smell like one. I, I do not. I use deodorant for fishy boys. Have you not heard of I, that brand? That's fine, but I don't think deodorant's gonna mask you know, a lifetime of swimming around in seawater. Well, I s swim in very sweet water, and he swim in salty water because that's who he is, salty. Because that's what the ocean's made of, yes, salt water. Yes. Anyway, you know, I, I thought I just wanted to let you know if you ever decide that you see something lying around, feel free to take it to me. Yeah, yeah. Could save a lot of like trouble. Yeah, I will. I will definitely let you know. I will definitely let you know. Yeah. Anyway, um, the Oracle is expecting a lot of me, so I'm gonna have to get back to the train in here. Oh, the Oracle. Yeah. Speaking of that, I, I forgot to you know, formally congratulate you for winning, the first trial. The trial oh, thank of you. Aries. Yeah, I guess you know, some people were. Just a bit on. I must say, you you have a lot of luck on you. Yeah, a little bit of luck came into it. Yeah, um, a little bit of just smart decisions. I guess no one wanted to attack the person fighting a harpy half the time. The result would have been so much different, you know, if it's on water, you know. Yeah, I guess it should be Mitch, and you would have done great. Yeah, Mitch doesn't even want to show up. Pathetic. Yeah, he was he was actually saving something. I forget. Pathetic. But he had a good reason. Either way. So you talked to the Oracle, huh? Yeah. And, well, the questions specifically necessarily didn't tell me a whole lot. It helped a few things. And the night after, I think I finally get in control of my powers. I think I had a vision. So the Oracle really knows everything? Knows everything? I think so, yes. But tells you everything? I am not entirely sure. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, I never know that the Oracle knows things. Of course the Oracle knows things. That's the whole point of the Oracle. All-knowing. Full of knowledge. Well, I wasn't really paying attention when it was firstly introduced. Knowing the future and the past and all that stuff. So let's say if, if I somehow get to it, would it be possible if I ask something about my trident? Yeah. Sure, there could be some answers about your trident. Just make sure to word it very specifically, because if you word it too vaguely, you're not going to get a very good answer. Oh. I've never. For example, one of my questions, or well, I guess I shouldn't say specific questions, it's probably not proper or something, but they, they, the question was pretty much just repeated back to me. Hmm. So, just be careful with your wording. I do want some answers. Like, what's the question about the trident you're thinking of? Well, I, well, it just, I just, like, I'm thinking of, maybe, th that's what I need to get Mitch to give me the trident. 
I mean, I don't know if it's going to tell you how to get the trident from Mitch. No. All I need to know is, is that if I'm worthy of the trident. Because yeah, that's, that's what actually Mitch is question. dying. Oh. I think if you ask the Oracle if you're worthy of the trident, you might get a straight answer. I must need to figure out how to get to the or trident. You might get an answer. It's confusing, I guess. But yeah, that could work out. I guess I you're really going to be uh, trying to do your best, aren't you? In the trials? In the events? Yeah. I'm not really sure about it. Do I really want to just wait for another trial? There must be some other ways. I mean, what else are you gonna do? I'm not suggesting that I want to break into the Oracle. Is it just me, or generally when you say you're not doing something, it sounds more like that's something you are indeed suggesting. You know, you are a very interesting person, actually. Getting to know you. Thank you? Yeah, someone tells you, tell, tell me that you are a very bland person. But you're not to me, you know. Who said that? Well, that's, you know, you don't, you don't have to know. Oh, right. I think you're very interesting, and you should keep on going with your whatever you were doing, you know? Work hard for the trials or whatever. Yeah. I actually I'm have big plans. Bo had any accuracy to it. Maybe you should a... try something different, you know. Spice yeah. things up. And just, you know, just make the right choices. I always try to. Specifically, you know. Pick a good side. The sides are forming. Yeah, of course. All right, you have a you have a good day. Yes, I sure will. I must figure out a way to break. I mean, <laughs> to you know, go back into my cabin. Nothing about the oracle. Of course. Have fun in the rain, you know. Water is good for you. Alrighty then. I'll see ya. Yeah. Logic, I have returned. How are you doing? Seems like you are having a great time. I have got you some food here, in fact. I hope you will enjoy some raw turkey. I've studied that that's what your kind takes. Or maybe you're not hungry yet. I will leave it here. But other than food, I have some amazing news that you might want to hear as well. I guess after the talk with Silo, it made me realize that maybe the Oracle is what I need for now. Apparently the Oracle can really tell you everything. And since Mitch wouldn't want to believe that he is not worthy of the trident and that I am the rightful owner. Maybe the oracle is what I need to prove that I am the one and only rightful owner of the trident. So I guess what I have to do right now is I have to find a way to get to the oracle. And I don't think that will be an easy task because the Oracle is locked in somewhere in this camp. I have to figure out a way. Surely I'm not gonna <clears throat> rely on those stupid trials because they are rigged anyway with stupid rules and whatever favor some whatsoever. So. Hmm. I need to think. I guess I just have to, you know, find some people to talk to, figure out where it could be and how it could get in. But for now, I guess we should just, you know, call it a day. The logic, I'm sure, has been a long day for you and you deserve all the rest. And I shall 
Take some time to think and process everything. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs>